first and foremost, I want to give all the honours, the praises, the glory belongs to Yahweh by Sham Yahabashai Bahasham Mahavakar Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahabashai. In who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved with him. Reese last days. It's going to be a quickie because battery is still running low. This is going to be concerning war. War talk is in the scriptures, right? And the Lord has commanded us to be soldiers for him. Let's go straight to Luke, all right? Go to Luke. This is serious business. This is Luke 14, all right? And, right, get straight to it. 26, and if any man come to me and me and hate not his father, mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, and his own life, also he cannot be my disciple. That's a heavy thing for a lot of people. That scripture there makes a lot of people feel a particular way, right? But again, the scriptures are very, very, very clear. Yahweh was very clear. Of how he wanted us to be right so you can't put anything now you you honor you obviously you honor those that you were raised up with but you don't put them before you have a shy okay and it says cannot be my disciple follower so we have to put all the things of the world people that you have a connection with you have to put that aside verse 27 whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me so we got to come after you have a shy Okay, you have to come after him. Okay, and come after me. Bearing your crosses, your, your own trials, your own tribulations cannot be my disciple. You want to be a disciple? You've got to follow after your Habashai. For which of you intending to build a tower sit not first and counted the cost whether he's sufficient to finish it? So you have a budget, right? That's going to cost that much. Windows are going to cost that much. Doors are going to cost that much. The stairs are going to cost that much. The roof is going to cost that much. Let's happily have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it. And all, be go all that, behold, it begins to mock him. So this man began to build and was not able to finish. Verse 31, and what king goeth to make war? Main point. Against another king. Let me just check this ain't getting too heated up. What happens sometimes? Sometimes the device gets a bit heated. Excuse me just a minute. And what king, read that again. And what king go with going to make war against another king, sitteth not down first? So in war matters, you take counsel, right? And consulteth whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that have cometh against him with 20,000, right? So the 20,000 is more, right? The 10,000 is less. So you consult. Even though I have less, would I be able to take him down? Or else while the other is yet greater way, off he sent an ambassador, a messenger, right, a representative, and desire with conditions of peace. Okay, so likewise, whosoever be of you that forsake if not all that he have cannot be my disciple. Yahweh Shah was very, very, very decisive, very straight to the point. Right, there's things we have to put aside, time is one of them. Right, you may want to do other things. I'm sorry, you have to put this first. Right. Okay, niggas in the world. What do niggas in the world say? Yeah, get money, get money. Time is money. Yeah, I understand that, but again, we have to put everything we wanted to do or we want to do aside and serve you have a shy. And that's why I'm spending more time out here because that's part of my right offering to you have a shy. My time, right? And time is something you can't get back, right? So it says, so likewise, whoever he be of he that forsaketh not all cannot be my disciple. Right? So it's about certain things we gotta forsake within this world. Can't be too emotionally, can't be too emotionally attached to anything in this world. Now let's go to Timothy's. Timothy's. 
right? It's Timothy 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Mashiach, Yahabashah Mashiach, let the things that has heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit to faithful men, others who shall be able to teach others also. So, yeah, we teach so we can commit it unto other men that we're willing to get this truth and do the same thing. We're not teaching the truth to be selfish, keep it to ourselves, so others can hear this word, be converted, and teach others. Go out and teach others. Learn this word first, then when you get built up, you can go and teach others. Okay? And it says, check this out, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness. Hardness. So, I don't know, you may have grew up a bit soft or whatever, comfortable. Well, if you're of the elect, the Lord's going to get that softness out of you. Right? No man that warreth in time. I'm moving too fast. Therefore, endure hardness as a good soul. So what are you enduring? If, you, if you're enduring something, that means there has to be some type of form of opposition. If you're enduring. So what are you enduring? Right? Satan. Because who is Satan? The adversary. Right? Going back to Peter's, what? First Peter's 5. Right? Be sober, be vigilant because your adversary has a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So that's our adversary, Shatan, right? Seek him as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So that's what? And it says resist steadfast in faith. I'm just paraphrasing this, by the way. Resist. So what are you resisting? And if you're resisting, that means you're enduring. That means you're putting up a fight. That's why it says, though therefore endure hardness, hardness, as a good soldier of Mashiach. So what soldiers, man? On the battlefield, we are on enemy lines, we are behind enemy lines, right? As a good soldier, so we want to endure hardness as a good soldier, and that pleases Yahabashai. He looks upon that, oh, that's my soldier right there, he's, he's fighting for me, right? In them trenches. Okay, verse 4, no man that warreth, so we're in a war, huh? entangleth, entangleth himself with the affairs of this world. So, seeing that we're in a war, more so spiritual, we can't be getting entangled like the rest of these people in the world, right? And what's that entanglement? Anything that Satan could use, any how, any possessions, anything around you, that could be used as an entanglement. So we're in a war, so we don't entangle ourselves with the things of this world. Okay? And it says the affairs. What's the affairs? Merchandise, businesses, jobs, whatever it may be. We're not supposed to be getting entangled with that because there's a, there's a mission. You've got to remember why you were called into this truth. Right, and that's how we can get sidetracked. We don't want to be sidetracked, we want to be single, we want to be as focused as possible. We're in a war. Here it is, there's bombs going off. Bomb, there's bombs going off, there's shrapnel flying everywhere, right? And even in war, what's it? There's casualties of war, there's people that fall out. So I've even seen that I've had that in this war. I've had I've seen casualties, right? People that have fell out, they're no longer they're back in the world now. So this is this is spiritual warfare. Right, right. You ain't got time to think about your woman. You think about your woman. You're in war, mate. There's bullets flying everywhere, and it says that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. So we have to please the Habsha who's chosen us to be a soldier. Look up that word soldier in the Greek. It says it says um what's it solitary, and it says solda from soldering to be made hard. So you get you get made hard if you're not hard you get made hard by Yahabashai. right okay because the average things that we went through the things that we went through if the average person would go through it they wouldn't be able to handle it they wouldn't be they would not be able to handle it it's just so that Yahabashai gives us the spirit to handle it okay 
as it says in Corinthians, ain't no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. But we'll, with that temptation, we'll find a what? A way to escape. Okay? Excuse me just a minute. Where's the apocrypha? Bear me just a minute. So the Lord Javshah always finds a way. Always. See what else there is. I'm just getting an apocrypha right now. Ecclesiastes 6. And jump straight to verse 5. Sweet language will multiply, friends. So sometimes you've got an eye to be um discreet. Because it does say sweet language will multiply, friends, right? So it doesn't. we don't always need to be harsh in our speech. And a fair speaking tongue will increase kind greetings, right? So you don't want to be at everybody's throat. Because we've got enough to deal with him more. We've we got enough enemies already. So fair greetings will what? Fair speaking will, tongue will increase kind greetings, right? Oh, how you doing? All right, mate. How you doing? How was your day been? All right, move on. That's it. All right? Be in peace with many. With many. Right, and if you can, you, if you can, some of my gang, guess guess what, some of my gang stalkers, I got them, somewhat on my side, ag agree with me. <laughs> so that's the power of this truth. If you know how to what, be discreet, be in peace with many, many, right? And the whole goal, you know, I talk about gang stalking and all this. Well, guess what? How do you overcome hate with love? You got something. You got to be the bigger man. You got to look. This is this is what. So you got to use wisdom. All right. To say say now if you convert when you're a gangster, because that's a miracle. That's beautiful. Right. Be in peace with many, and never less. But one counselor of a thousand have one counselor. So you have peace of many, but you have one counselor. In war, in war you have counselors, right? Okay. And so forth. You have the lieutenant and so forth. Captain, lieutenant and so forth. Okay. And it says, Baba Kisha, be in peace with many, nevertheless have but one council of a thousand. One. One council of a thousand men. And that one council you want to be able to trust. Right? And that council will give you... um. Ideas on how you should go about your war. Don't go there. Go here. He will have a map. Right? Mapping out everything. Right? Even in war. Even with Russia. What you think they don't have um, counsellors. They have counsellors. Right? That tell them what to do. Tell them not what to do. Right? They have captains, chiefs. Right? And they, yeah, they also have conditions of peace. Okay? If the army is too strong. Okay? They have representatives. There's another name for it. Okay. And it says, be in peace with many, nevertheless, but have one counselor of a thousand. So, one counselor. All right. If thou wouldst get to the friend, prove him first. So, you get a friend, you have to prove that man first. Ain't nobody else can come on the other side of the camp. And I don't want to be forced to do that because you have people asking me, well, have you got a church? Is anybody else going to be. No, a brother could join. But he needs to be tried first because I've seen men come in and out of this truth that were not right. So one has to be tried first. Just like with the military. They try you out. Right? They try, they test you. Right? Okay, you may go to the military first day, right? Thinking, oh, this, is the, this is the military ground. He said, nah, wrong place, wrong place. Go away. You know, you got the wrong place. Right? Then you come back and you realise it was the right place. But they're just seeing if you would come back. All types of tricks are done. You get tested. Right? And it says, if that was get us a friend, prove him first. So we get proved. Okay. And it says, and be not hasty to credit him. Don't be so hasty that I've done that before. Oh yeah, this guy is on fire for the truth. To find that he was he was never on fire. He was never on fire for the truth. Don't be so hasty to credit someone, right? 
and it I, I wouldn't say give it a month give it at least a year then you could be be able to make um a clear judgment on what something is some it may take longer so prove a friend first and Yahweh is proving us to see how we're dedicated we are to Yahweh Shai. He's proving us. That's what you prove a friend, right? And a friend is a brother, by the way. Okay. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. They call it a fair weather friend. I will not abide in a day of thy trouble. You don't want that someone, you don't want someone like that on the battlefield. You don't want someone like that on the battlefield. I will not abide in a day of trouble. Right? <laughs> but as a friend who being turned to enmity and strife will discover their reproach. So there's also men like that as well. Everything was cool, but as soon as you tell them about themselves, now you're the worst thing since sliced bread. That's why you want to prove a friend. Alright? That's why you want to prove a friend. Okay. Again, some friend is the companion at the table and will not continue in a day of affliction. Right? When they dip out, I always say this, try your men out. I'm not saying that by a deceitful way. You test your men out, where their minds are. How are you feeling today? Do you still feel like you can go on? Right? Okay. Have you been studying? Have you been praying? And them things show. Right? These things show. You just come to camp on weekends. What are you doing for the rest of the week? Have you been studying? Are you being brotherly? This ain't no joke. And it says, and again, some friend is a companion at the table and will not continue in the day of thy affliction. But in prosperity he will be as thyself. Bro, I've seen this. When everything's going good, they will join your sides. There's people like that. When you're winning, because everybody wants to be on the winner's side, right? When you're winning, they want to be on your side. I've seen this. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, but in prosperity, he will be as thyself and will be bold over thy servants. Right? Not knowing how to treat them. But if that be brought low, he would be against thee. Yes, yeah, see, it's your own fault. You, 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 you make people hate you. No, 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 no. The, the elect, what, did Yahweh make people hate him? No, he didn't. Did Stephen make people No, he didn't. It's just that they had spirits upon them. Right? And it says, again, some man is a friend, but in prosperity, he will be as thyself. If that be brought low, he will be against thee. He will hide himself from thy face. That's a wicked individual. Separate thyself from thy enemy. So, Yahamashai does that. Separates some of us for our own good. And take heed of thy friends. Okay. A faithful friend is a strong defense. And he that have found one have found a treasure. So, in battle, he's going to be there with you in the trenches. And that's the individual you can really trust. You've been with him in the trenches. Thick and thin. Alright? Excuse me just a minute. I'm looking for something in Deuteronomy. They're the ones you they're, they're the ones you want to lay. They're the ones you can trust. They are the ones you can trust. Right? Those you you've been in the battle with them. You know how they are. Right? Um, more concerning war. Due to, we're going to shut off. Due to, me, 20. And four. For the Lord, you have a power. Is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. So really, the battle is, it's of the Lord, you have a shy. And the officer shall speak unto the people. What man is there that have built a new house and have not dedicated it? Let him go and return to his house. Lest he die in the battle and another man dedicate it. What man is he that have planted a vineyard? And have you eaten, not yet eaten of it? Lest him also go and return unto his house. Lest he die in the battle and another man eat of it. And what man is there that have betrothed the wife, right, engaged, and have not taken her? Let him go and return unto his house. Lest he die in the battle and another man take her. And the officer shall speak further unto the people and they shall say, What man is there that is fearful and faint hearted? Because I've witnessed this. A man that's all faint, faintful and fear-hearted and so forth. And he pushes that vibration on the rest of the individuals. Let him go and return unto his house. Is his brethren's heart faint as well as his heart? Because that's contagious. 
fair doubt can be contagious. So it's not good when you're at war to spread that type of energy. Because now, what's going to happen? Your brethren's heart's going to faint. So it's better you just stay at, stay at home. And it shall be when the officers have made an end of speaking unto the people that they shall make captains of the armies to lead the people. Right? And when thou comest nigh unto a city to fight against it, then shall then they proclaim peace again unto it. And it shall be, if it make thee answer of peace and open unto thee, then it shall be be. That all the people that is found there and shall be tributaries unto thee, they shall serve thee. Right? And if if it will make no peace with thee, but will make war against thee, then thou shalt besiege it. So there's even laws on how we should deal in war. Right? So the scriptures even deal with warfare matters. Right? And the elect, they're built for war. Right? Finding out a lot of men are not built for war. That's why they, they go right back into the world. They're ready for war. You're a family, man. Right? Not that anything's wrong with that, but again, you we want to be concerned with the war at hand. Okay? So with this, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, Shalom.